So guys, if you are an OG, like, you know, an original person in Redefined Gospel, you probably know that I went to South Africa a few weeks or a month ago, depending on when this video will come up. And I did a travel vlog on it, which I'm going to link down on the description box. But I wrote it as part one. So I wanted to do a sitting video of part two of how I got to travel to South Africa. Tips that I can give you, you who wants to travel to South Africa and simply the faith journey that went into going to south africa and guys i really hope you enjoy hope you learn and i hope you get encouraged by this particular video so stick around welcome to redefine gospel youtube channel where we are thriving in christ this channel seeks to link the word of god to the contemporary times and ultimately ensure that we are thriving in christ so if you're new in this channel please 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 consider subscribing so guys, um, as you already know, I traveled to South Africa from the 13th of February to the 17th of February. And uh, so many people were like, wow, what are you going to do there? Is there a project? Have you gone for Valentine's? Because it was Valentine's. And there are so, uh, so many other questions that came even on the uh, comment section. I had a question about security in South Africa. And I thought I can do a sitting down video, sit down video where I answer these questions. So first and foremost, um, this opportunity to actually go to South Africa came in uh, last year, that is in 2018, and we applied and, you know, we got that invitation letter. Uh, me and my friends, we got that, my friends and I from school, and what we are going to do is called the Prize Media Moot Court Competition. And I know people who have not done law may not actually understand what a Prize Moot Court Competition is. So in layman terms, a uh, Moot Court Competition is whereby you are given like a question, like a... Um, a fake case like this has happened this, this did this to this person and for this one it, it is media so it was basically about apps a certain app called you connect app which is like an instagram app so someone had misused the instagram app and what is the recourse in law it was based around that kind of a scenario so that's a moot court so you're given a question then you're supposed to prepare both sides and then you write like ad submissions you write you know your arguments and all that you send to them and then you go and argue so there are stages there's the preliminary round you go for quarter finals for semis and there's the final round the people who actually win this particular competition uh are, there are people who are selected at that time we thought only one person was to be selected but to be selected to actually go and represent the african it was an african regional round to uh, to represent the african continent in the international rounds in oxford london so that basically that's what we are going to do but you know going to south africa is not like me going to town so there's a lot of expenses to be incurred so these people are like we're offering accommodation but for the ticket and the visa cost and the transport from your hotel to the school each time you go through those four days you really need to be the one catering for that so you are like okay and then within like a month we were selected for another competition and i'm not going to give like so much details about it uh because it's still in the oven and all that so once it is it comes out then you will you will definitely see so there was like th there's another competition so we get finances for this latter competition we don't have for this price media moot court competition so we are like i won't go but i am passionate about media you would tell like i love media and anything to do with media law will be amazing and, and i feel like it goes in line with what i want to do in future so i was like wow i'm missing this opportunity so days go by and it's on a tuesday we're supposed to travel okay according to the organizers and you know i know there's a part we didn't exercise faith but i feel this part we exercise faith each time those people would contact us and ask, are you coming uh, so that you confirm the rooms, we'll tell them confirmation of coming. And you know, we don't have even one bob to do this. So we started writing letters, like we wrote letters, I wrote emails, we walked around Nairobi to look for money, to look for law firms, to actually cater for this. And we reached a point where like, I, we don't think we'll get this cash. So the following week is like on a 14th, 13th. 13th we were supposed to go so it was like on a 5th the 5th of, of uh, February we are like with my friend in the library and I was just doing other work like I had even forgotten like we, we didn't even practice or anything of that sort 
So we are like with my friend on the library and then she's like, ah, me think we can get this cash. And she gave me an idea of how we'll get the cash. And I was like, wow. So And then surprisingly that evening, our coach, that is a lecturer, sent us an email that a certain law firm has given us 25,000. And we had known that the cost that actually was for the, for the air ticket will be around 31,000. So we were like, so what we need to do first and foremost. So he was, she was to contact a certain person who was to sponsor the tickets. So that person said, you need to have visas. Now, this is where we lacked faith. Like, for example, if we knew we would be going in November, for example, even if we don't have the air tickets, it would have been okay, not okay, but it would have been just an exercise of faith, not walking by faith, but not walking by sight, by, but walking by faith if we went and applied for visas. You get like something of that sort, but we didn't do that. So it's Tuesday, we know we have a week to go. And we need to apply visas. Visa processing has a process. And we are told it takes five working days. So it's on a Tuesday. So we said the following day on Wednesday we'll go. So we went. We we did like we printed all that we needed to print from the air ticket bookings. The, all the things that we needed. Okay, according to us. Because we didn't do proper research about what we need. So if you're a very first time person to actually apply for visa, it is advisable to email those the visa application centers and even ask what do you need for visa application so we didn't ask so we go there and we're told we need either a letter of sponsorship from the one who's sponsoring us we can ask the school to just do it you know as a proxy thing kind of and we also need passport photos so we were like oh the passport photos we can actually no the passport hey wait let me give you that story of passport photo before we went to the counter, we realized people had passport photos. So we and then we were told there's a place to use a picture passport photo. So we went to a picture picture. So we take those photos and then that person tells us, okay, for the two of us, like give me a thousand shillings. I'm like a thousand shillings for passport photos. So it's really expensive. So if you're going like to v VFS Global, it's near Safari Com House, kind of. I don't remember that building, but it's at Modangari Drive. Like oh, Okay, if you have that 500 bob, you can give 500 bob each for passport photos, but take passport photos before Handaki. So we did that and then we were told we need to go back. So it's on Wednesday, we need to go back on Thursday. Mind you, this person is like, I will not pay the ticket until you have the visa. So we, we went, we went the following day. When we went the following day with a letter from the school saying we are students, they said, that is not enough, we need bank statements ready thursday and i gave up that thursday that's thursday we didn't even talk to each other with my friend when we were going back to parklands i went to back to parklands i went and bought chips i ate them and slept sometimes me stress eat so i i ate i slept following morning was on a friday we didn't have class we didn't have like um i usually have like a refugee law class on on friday we didn't have a refugee law class so i decided let me just uh, pack things. I packed my CPS books. I usually do another like professional course and I had not started reading on it even okay <laughs> Sorry for another day. So I had not started reading on it. So I started I packed the books. I packed my dissertation my my final year project that I'm doing what I needed to do And then also I wanted to come home and film. I had just decided that's how I'm going to do so I packed the, the everything and then she calls me. She's like I found someone okay uh, who will give us the bank statements nini, nini, and the, the letter will be draft that letter do this this things used to come and i remember my roommates on thursday were, before we were, as we were going on thursday to bring that letter i remember my roommates aki guys sharon jura murray and masi chore chiridi ku school of law like i have to you know mention that those roommates of mine are amazing they bought me and i'm going to insert a picture of these pillows that actually put in an aeroplane okay guys thank you like that meant a lot i had lost like total hope i would actually go and they bought that and said ukienda south africa no kienda place x which has not yet materialized so i can't i can't talk about it ubebe he i was like god these people are angels it gave us hope i know it looks like something like i don't know how but it was like this people are so hopeful we are going and as we don't have hope so on Friday we go, we, we submit, so that day we had everything, they took it. So they told us the date was like, it was on um, 8th of February. We're supposed to go on the 13th. We have just applied for visas, guys. So it's 8th of February. They tell us, come and collect on 15th. 15th, the competition would have gone like halfway. We just went and 
one thing we told each other at least we tried at least we did our best at least we applied so monday comes we um uh, by the grace of God, I was serving as the president of the International Court of Justice in Kenya Model United Nations. So we had an event at UN. So not event, but the last the last conference even as we handed over. So Monday we I, I went for the conference. I did everything, and I people would say like I remember my friends saying, "Hey, I'm Kenya South Africa," and I'm like, I don't think we'll go for South Africa to South Africa. So I'm like, uh, we Monday went, and then on Tuesday I. Tuesday, I remember I had a lot of activities, planning teams that are going to move in the, in the courts and everything. I was up and about doing what I'm supposed to be doing, UN and everything. And then I remember I had gone to look for someone. Uh, one of my bureau members, okay, bureau is like team, the team I, I lead. One of the members did have like a badge, so I needed to sort it out. So I'm at a certain room there. And then my friend Beatrice comes running and she calls me and tells me, I'm Viseko ready. Like one day processing we were like we were excited we were happy so we need to remove this twenty five thousand from the school account to actually get the money so we go first pick the visas even the the watchmen we had gone there too many times they already knew us then we came and told them to make a visa we have come for the visas they're so excited eh, hey the excitement so it's tuesday and you know if it's because it's tuesday it means we're supposed to travel on wednesday it means the ticket needs to be paid on tuesday and it's one day before you get so we finish we go to turn to the airlines and we get to the airlines the airline that was at thirty one thousand. the ticket is now at what was the ticket at seventy one thousand. and we're like okay we had thought we had like thirty one thousand that we were able to get but now it's hiked we have the visas we have been excited we're not getting these tickets and I'm not going to disclose like who sponsored and everything but so we call one of them was to sponsor and then i just made a call of faith to someone and i was like hey okay i, I didn't call i just called not because i knew i would, I would get the money i called so that i would how do i put it i would say uh, to make us like just to give information that to make us a person and i called and i was like hello uh the ticket we are going to the tickets the tickets are now at so, so we went to South African Airways. Oh, I have to hide this Airways. We went to South African Airways. So when we went to South African Airways, uh, sorry if I'm checking this side, like I had like a flow of how I put my thoughts so that I'm not every, all over the place. So we went to South African Airways and uh, they told us they have a stud student like, subsidization. And if you want to go to South Africa, use this airlines. Like this airline, it's a direct flight of three hours, 53 minutes let's say four hours like around four hour flight to south africa and they had a subsidy so the ticket was ranging at 74 but they took it down to sixty four thousand, and that was like the high price you know because this agency and you're going tomorrow that means it can even go lower than that and those guys give you amazing food it's so comfortable you are in the economy class and you feel like you're in first class okay i've never been in first class this was actually my first time to board a plane but it's just great treatment they give you so um and then the money was embezzled to me and i was like wow with my friend we're just looking at each other we have no words the moment i held that ticket guys i was like this is not happening i'm supposed to go tomorrow and then we're thinking we have not rehearsed we have not practiced we don't even remember what we wrote in our written submissions we don't remember a thing so we we're, we're here with Beatrice and then we just take the tickets and we were like, ah, no, this happened, this happened. So we went, I remember that night, I was packing, but I packed so slowly. My, my roommate was like, okay, come on in South Africa, but I was still in that shock. Like tomorrow I'm traveling to South Africa. So I'm like, so we packed, we packed. And then, no, I packed, okay, she lives elsewhere, so I packed. And then the following morning, I woke up so early, I read the written submissions. But th then we decided, because we had a lot of errands, changing money, doing so many things, and we needed to be at the airport at around 1 p.m. So we decided we'll go and practice when, once we reach in South Africa. That night, to Takesha, like when we arrive on 13th at night, we will, you know, to Takesha, like we will transnight, and then 14th will be in court. So we went, and then we boarded the plane, like it had a delay, but we were like in that excitement mode. We reached there and we were told now we are being fed. Like, I've never boarded a plane, guys. And trust you, as I was beginning the year, trust you, this was not in my mind. And I want to tell everyone who thinks that 
things are impossible nothing is impossible guys if you want to you know get that amount of money you will dream of that house you dream of those things these things belong to god just seek the kingdom of god and his righteousness guys and all those things will be added unto you so we just uh boarded the plane and went and we arrived there we found our way through you know getting a cab and now going to the hotel the place at first it, it is a small place okay i think we were expecting expecting like a grand place so we we went in and then we go guys there is no electricity in this place we need to practice we need to rehearse so hey yeah. so we go there and we are like so we are given a lamp we need we had laptops we had phones that are you know the charge is going on that's what i'm i didn't carry a laptop that's what i'm going to use to look from at my submissions and submit so we stayed there we we're just complaining 45 minutes the lights come but the sockets look funny and i showed you in my previous video if you've not watched that vlog the travel vlog like that so i'm sitting with it's just a vlog of of our time of our of one of the days that we spent in south africa you watch it i'll link, link it down in the description box so we are like looking at the sockets they can't fit our plants so we use the tv so someone would like charge for 30 minutes the other one charges and then we spread we read we read we slept like for two three hours we we rehearsed we rehearsed we went and we didn't have any coach the following morning we didn't know our way around but god just sent angels to us and we we bought the same kind of car we we're going to the same place we bought the same van and went we went and you know talked and we we mooted we mooted and then surprising the someone from who was to come from kenya to actually give like a panel the panel to be in the pa in a panel but that person was not there this so the dean of the university of johannesburg comes and says um, i want one of you ladies to actually give up to be in the panel my friend is like and you love media law go and give like i was in a panel go and give like the talk about kenya and fake news and media law and all those things so we pra we we like immediately we had like two rounds of mooting after we finished mooting we had you now that opening conference so we simply used like five minutes to jot down points and told me to tell maybe then you say this and you say this then you say this and we went and there was so much favor like the kind of feedback people gave me was like if you knew and god gave us so much favor people like the two ladies from kenya and we went and guys we made it to the semi-finals we went to the semi-finals we didn't make it to the finals so we were like downcast and all that but surprisingly they were taking four teams four teams and those are like semi -final, only four teams qualified to the semi-finals and that was our team was one of it and we are not practiced we are not spent endless nights you know in here in kenya practicing and god came through for us and we qualified for the oxford international ones so guys sometimes it's not our effort sometimes it's not because you're so good it's not because you are an intellectual it's not because you are you know you 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 the eat girl you the eat guy it's not because of that it's because of god that you are who you are it's because of god that he enables you to do all those things that you do it is because of him that you are it's in him you have your live you live and you have your being you live you move and have your being and that taught me a lot that taught me it's not my effort my effort counts i need to put effort i need to be hard working i need to be diligent in the work of god diligent in my school work but above everything else it's god it's god who gives you that victory it is his will that prevails and i think i've already like mentioned that if you need to like go to south africa on a budget just book ali book ali okay i've just moved to travel tips all of a sudden but i really needed to say that but book ali if it's you need to book ali and then there's that bnb i'm going to link it link the details down below in the description box it's a really nice bnb so you can actually for the lunch and supper you can actually look for affordable places you know research about a place before you go i hadn't gone for vacation so maybe may not have like so many tips but research about that place and then also um have a budget have a plan about what you do and another thing that i really need to say is about the sockets get a universal charger it's something i was told later that there was a need for me to get a universal charger so if you're traveling just be safe and carry a universal charger and simply god works things out like let me just say that god works things out 
and change your money like that's another tip change your money to dollars or to runs if you're going to south africa the safest way is just change your money to dollars and then um the person who asked me actually about security i'm sorry i'm answering this at the last part of the video but about security i feel um I remember when we in the south african airways by purchasing the tickets that guy told us that uh there's uh he told us that south africa is just like kenya okay it's different from kenya but it's just like kenya there are places that are unsafe there are places that are safe if you don't take care of your property well then you may end up being mugged but i didn't okay in those days we live like we didn't hear those at the extreme cases of insecurity so i can't really say there's an insecurity problem there yeah so don't be afraid travel to south africa and as i said in my blog mr price is so cheap okay you know there are other places but mr price is so cheap there you can go with a whole you can have ten thousand shillings and you change your wardrobe at mr price in south africa things are very cheap you have shoes for 300 bob for heels for a thousand shillings so things are very cheap there so you can actually be going there for shopping and that is what we are trusting in god for in future but yeah that's basically it and i hope this whole story and this whole narration really encouraged you to go beyond your possibility to go beyond what you think because sometimes we think this way but god is thinking about this way about us so yeah that will be it i hope you're encouraged so as always remember that god loves you a lot and until next week bye bye Thank you.